Hello, I'm Mrs Harper. I'm Assistant Director of Discovery in charge of Design and Technology, and that's food technology as well. So in the department, we work in resistant materials with wood and plastics, and we also work in food, cooking and nutrition. So today we're going to look at a little project that you could potentially be doing as part of Design and Technology or as part of the Design and Technology Club, which we have specifically for Year 7 and 8 students to get an understanding of wider areas that we can't do in lessons. So we're going to have a look at today at something called injection moulding. And we start off with a drawing we have already prepared. And we've just got a little drawing of a seahorse there. And that then I'm going to turn into a mould that we can inject plastic into to make our final piece. So the way that we do this is with a strip of aluminium metal and it's very flexible metal so we can just bend it with our fingers. And what I would do is work my way around the shape, bending it, using the pliers and just getting the shape that I wanted. So here is my seahorse that I've already done to show you. So there's the drawing and can you see my seahorse shape there that I've bent round? Okay, so what we now have to do is make sure that when we put the plastic in, it's not going to stick to our mould so that we can actually get it out afterwards because we don't want this part, we actually want the thing that's going to be inside it. So we use something called silicon and I'm just going to put a little bit of silicon on the inside of the mould, especially in the little parts and just wipe off any excess okay and I'm going to do the same to the mould top and bottom so this is going to create the flat platform at the bottom and the top for the seahorse so I'm just going to pop a little bit of silicon on there and then wipe that over so that's spread that silicon all over my mould now so in here we've got a large hole, a small hole and two even larger holes. The two outside ones are to screw the two halves together. This is where we will inject the plastic into and this one is an air hole to let any air escape from it. So we're going to pop our seahorse down and I'm going to figure out the best way for him. So there we go. So we make sure the air can come out and the plastic can go in. I'm going to put the other half of the mould on and this is a little bit fiddly but I'm always here to help with these kinds of things. Pop the screws through and this is just going to hold everything in place when we're pouring the plastic in. And we have to do these up nice and tightly otherwise the liquid plastic will escape out the sides of the mould and our seahorse shape won't be complete because the plastic will have come out instead. So when that's nice and tight on both of those, which I think I'm happy with that, just check that I've got it in the right place. And you can see there down the centre, the seahorse is trapped now in between these two plates of metal. The metal here is aluminium as well, and that's a nice soft metal and it's quite lightweight for us to hold. So we're now going to put the hot plastic into this larger hole here. And to do that, we're using something like a glue gun. But rather than having glue in it, instead it's got this plastic in here. So it's a similar way to a hot glue gun, but it's got plastic instead of glue. So what we're going to do is put the nozzle into the hole and just inject that plastic in. And you can see it going down at the end. And what I'm looking for is for that to start to come up. From that hole and check it's not coming out of the sides that's fine and then I can lift that away oh, just a tiny bit onto there now it does take a minute or two to cool down and at this point the mold's gone quite warm so I wouldn't touch it just yet on this part where the hot plastic's just gone so we'll just give it a minute to cool down and then I can start unscrewing the mold and it's quite quick when your fingers can get hold of them. We can simply take our mould apart and there we have 
our seahorse that's been molded. So we can take the seahorse, it's not quite cooled enough yet. When it's cooled down, we can take the seahorse off the mold and remove it completely like these ones here. Oops. Like these ones here, so you can see it's come straight out of there. And then we can use these to decorate things like picture frames or we can put a magnet on the back of them and use them to decorate um, magnet boards and that sort of thing. So that's just a little very quick introduction to some of the small projects that we do in design and technology. I hope you've enjoyed this and we look forward to seeing you in September. Bye.